Did Walt design gas masks during World War II? Find out here on Weird Disney. What's going down, Mouse Nation, and welcome back to Weird Disney. In this series, we'll be discussing the weirder and definitely stranger side of Disney, the side that you may not know about. If you want more videos like this, make sure you smash that like button, share this video, and subscribe. Today, we're going to be talking about Walt Disney. Welcome and the extremely creepy gas masks that he designed during World War II. It was 1942, and the Japanese had just bombed Pearl Harbor. This led to fears of attacks directly on the U.S. mainland. Now this was a huge problem, and not just for the obvious reasons. Chemical warfare was a very real threat and a chemical attack on U.S. soil would be absolutely devastating. I mean, think about it, guys. Chemical attacks, you guys may have heard about them. Nerve gas, all sorts of different types of attacks on other countries. Imagine something like that happening here on U.S. soil. We all remember 9-11 and how much that affected us here in all of our communities. Now, because of the threat of chemical warfare, the U.S. government gave out more than 40 million gas masks to American citizens who would be prone to these attacks. Now, I don't know about you, but I would be terrified if the U.S. government gave me a gas mask. That would make me feel like there was definitely an imminent threat on the horizon. Now, the major issue that we had with these gas masks was the fact that they were just not child friendly. They were too big, too heavy, and too scary for children and smaller adults. I mean, look at these things. I would be terrified if I was a small child and I had to hold one of these or use one of these gas masks. Enter Walt Disney, who was then enlisted by the US government to help find a way to solve this problem. Now, of course, think about it. Walt Disney had all kinds of designs at the time through his cartoons and through his movies. He came up with a design that he felt would put ease in the hearts of these small children. But if you want my honest opinion, I don't know about you guys, but these gas masks maybe even look scarier than some of the ones that they were giving out before. Who am I though, right? It's just as scary as any of the other ones. I don't know. What do you guys think? You can let me know in the comments below if you think these are just as scary or that children might actually like these a little bit more. This design was then approved and about a thousand were made by the Sun Rubber Company, which received an Army Navy E for Excellence for producing the masks. Other designs with various cartoon characters were also planned, but none of those were ever made. I don't know, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know, imagine a goofy mask, like a goofy gas mask here, or like a Minnie Mouse version. My personal favorite, Donald Duck. And also, thankfully, none of the masks ever had to be used as there was never a chemical attack on US soil. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for that. Now, the UK had their own versions of these child gas masks, but they didn't have Mickey Mouse on them. They just used bright colors such as red or blue. That way it would attract children to them. And those UK versions were still called Mickey Mouse gas masks, even without the Mickey, as they were used as part of different games to make the children feel less frightened by those masks. And I was kind of looking for what these games were, but I couldn't find any direct details about these games because that seems interesting to me. What kind of a game would you use to have the kids practice using these gas masks? That seems really intriguing to me, but I couldn't find any details. So if you guys know any of those details, I'd love to know them. Now, what's really odd is that most of the American versions with Mickey Mouse's face on them are gone. They're nowhere to be found. Now, the ones that did survive can be found in different museums or even at the Walt Disney Archives in Burbank, California. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have some of these thousand that were created and they just keep them for themselves as a sort of souvenir or part of their collection. Now, what do you guys think? Would you have worn these gas masks as a child? Would you wear them now? Let us know in the comments below. Personally, like I said, those things terrify me. I think they're even scarier than regular gas masks. I don't know if that would have really worked, but at the time, maybe that's kind of a style that kids were used to if you go and look at some of the toys from that time period. Now, we absolutely hope that you're enjoying our new series. I'm going to try to make this a weekly thing for you guys. I'm really enjoying Weird Disney. It's a lot of fun. If you want more videos like this, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, I'm your host, Morty Mouse. I'll see you later, or I'll see you at another time.